Hello and welcome back. Good to see you back again. Uh, last video we went over Utah, which is our Mojave snake. Uh, today we're going to go over our normal het pied. Her name is Sword. She's a normal pattern snake. Look, a wild variety. She's very, very bright in coloration, as you can see. But she has a heterozygous gene which will bring out the pied coloration. The pied is a complete lack of coloration. I'll show you within the next uh, few episodes uh, a couple of the pies we have in our collection. And it basically is a complete lack of pigmentation within a certain area of the snake. Uh, you can have high pied or low pied. That'll just depend upon how much of the area of the snake is um, lacking the pigmentation. Now with sword here, she is probably my worst eating snake. Uh, she's eaten a few meals with me, uh, or more than a few, um, but she's not as readily um, inclined to eat as the, all the other pythons I have right now. Uh, she has a tendency to go off, and I'll tend to have to try to live, uh, give her a live uh, large mouse or small rat uh, just to entice her. She's eaten a few frozen, but she just goes on and off the feeding. Uh, when I first picked them up, uh, <laughs> well, I'll go back, uh, cut it back. When I was young, I, uh, like I mentioned before in the introduction video, I used to um, have snakes, I had garter snakes. So when I was young, I used to really like catching snakes, like garter snakes, uh, little brown snakes, water snakes, stuff like that. And I'd been bitten. I'd been bitten by garter snakes and water snakes. Um, but it had been years and years and years since I'd been bitten by a snake. A uh, little sword here. <laughs> When she arrived, uh, she came via mail order with the other ones there, and they came in little uh, bags. Uh, she's the first one I took out of the bag. Uh, first bag I opened, and she came out, and she tagged me right away. Uh, didn't hurt. More of a shock than anything else. Just uh, I haven't been used to it. Um, she tagged me once, and then tried to go again. And uh, we put her in the enclosure, and she tried a couple more times within the first day or two we had her. But other than that, she's been really calm. You can see her body language is pretty calm right now. She doesn't mind anything going around her. She's pretty chilled out, and she hasn't been inclined to strike since. That being said, none of the other pythons I had, and they all came in roughly about 90 grams, uh, this one included. Uh, none of the other ones even attempted to strike. They all had really docile body temperatures. that You can see right now she kind of got her head posed more so than any other one. So you want to watch out for when they do the S-bend in their uh, body like that. You can feel the body tensing up a little bit. You want to watch out with that. You don't want to just keep going towards the face. Uh, what I suggest with ball pythons as well is you never really approach them by the head. When you're going to pick them up, go for the bigger part of the body. Uh, let them know you're there and don't startle them. But uh, like I mentioned, since that uh, first uh, couple of days there, she's been pretty chilled. Haven't had a problem. She hasn't struck. Uh, she hasn't uh, given any issues like that. No hissing or anything like that. So she's been pretty mild tempered ever since. Now, I've been watching a lot of videos on um, uh, heterozygous pieball pythons, and they say if you look at the belly markers on the bottom of the snake, they say you can see tracks. Now, <laughs> I've seen people show this looks like tracking to me, and you can see the white kind of climbing up the side of the snake a little bit right there. But I've seen people show this and they say, oh, it's not really tracking. And some people saying it is tracking, but if you see the black markers going right along the sides of the ventral scales there, that's a pretty good source of tracking right there. That generally is an indicator of the heterozygous gene for ball, or correction, uh, pie ball, which is the, uh, again, uh, the lack of pigmentation within the coloration of the snake at a uh, random intervals. Uh, other than that, like I mentioned in the last time, the alien heads, if you look here, you got black bands coming down the sides and you have what they call the alien heads along the side of the snake. Different than the Mojave I showed last time. The Mojave had more of a keyhole type of uh, uh, look to her when you went around to the sides with the one dot in the middle and the keyhole style. These ones here, you have the two dots, like two eyes. The odd one have one and going all the way down. You can also see the along the dorsal there, oh, the splotting pattern and then a bit of a line there. Uh, nice looking snake. I'm not a huge fan of the normals. They are beautiful. I used to love normals over anything else, and then uh, so many of the variations started coming out that they're absolutely uh, spectacular right there, that the normals kind of, um, uh, they don't get appreciated as much as they, I guess they could. She's a beautiful snake, absolutely beautiful. But um, 
as I mentioned before, I want to try to focus more on the uh, pie balls and different variations therein of, of the pie ball pythons. Uh, with her, what my intent was is, again, she is heterozygous for pie ball. What I wanted to do was, uh, with the four initial snakes I had, was to raise them up uh, and with the one male I had, which is a, um, a pie ball with potential uh, heterozygous for lavender albino, and breed them up. And then she was my het in order to get more pie balls from her uh, to get the collection up a little bit. Uh, her size being quite small, again, uh, she right now is 205 grams. She's pretty small. Um, she'll be a while till she's breeding size for sure. Uh, hopefully her eating does start to kick in a little bit better. Um, but other than that, again, her temperament is pretty calm right now. She's done a lot better. Um, her coloration's absolutely fantastic phenomenal coloration on this snake right here if you look just a beautiful snake absolutely beautiful and take a moment to uh, appreciate that color it'd be nice if she looked at the camera but she's too busy staring at me right now there we go there you can see the eyes little teardrop colorations coming down the eye absolutely beautiful and her name, once again, is Sword. The four initial snakes I had were named after the beaches of Normandy. We have Sword, Utah, Omaha, and Juno. I know we are missing um, Gold, but I believe I will name the uh, new male we have Gold, and you'll see why when you see his coloration. All right. <clears throat> so there we have it. That is the normal ball python. Ooh, there we go. Well, not really completely normal. She's a normal wild type with the uh, het for pie ball. All right. So uh, thanks again for joining us. I will uh, probably record a couple more videos today, and I'll disperse them on a daily basis there, just going over the next uh, few different variations of snake we have. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If I don't get back to you or if I mention them in future videos, it may take a video or two for me to get to them if I have pre-recorded ones and I don't get to your questions. Uh, before I go much further in this, um, uh, the channel is new. I only have uh, nine subscribers as of filming right now, and I'd like to say thank you very much for those of you who have subscribed. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, please share this video. Get more subscribers online, and uh, any advice, any points, any questions, leave in the comments below. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.